God, I gotta put something on the TV. What, what, what is a frame if the background looks like crap? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> Welcome to GMRZ. I'm Dan and I have something really cool to show you this video. This is my very special switch stand that I made by myself and it is the handiest, the most sturdy stand and the most useful, better than any of the other stands that are out there on the market and you can make it yourself for like a couple of bucks. Check out this video and you will see. There we have it. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that thing. It's completely handmade. Only took maybe an hour tops. That's it. I'm going to show you how to make it right now. Well, I'm going to tell you how to make it because I'm not going to make it in front of your eyes. I'm just going to show this to you up close and personal. I really wanted to show this off to you guys. Not only because it's pretty, but also because it's really simple to make and really cheap. The original purpose for this design was to allow me to use my switch while traveling on airplanes. What I really needed from this stand was for it to be raised up enough so that the charging cable can enter through the front and charge the screen while it's sitting in the upright tray in the airplane seat. This would allow me to sit back and relax and play the game while keeping it charged. Everybody that owns a Switch knows that when you run out of battery, you've got to plug it in through the bottom and you cannot set it down after that. You basically have to hold it in your hands until it's charged up enough for you to take the plug out. My stand solves that problem completely. The hole in the center and the channel going right through the middle allows the cord to go underneath and plug in while it's sitting in the stand. When the cord is in place and the switch is charging, it sits even sturdier than it would without it being plugged in. I think that the design is super nice, but it's also extremely functional and really good for traveling. It's also extremely sturdy. It will not break. It's really the perfect design. It's like I said, you can put this in the upright tray while you're traveling in an airplane, take off the controllers, plug it into a battery pack, or even the plug that sits next to you in the chair in the airplane, and you can be free hands with your switch and not worry about it falling over. Turbulence doesn't matter, shaking around doesn't matter, this stand holds it still and it will not fall over, unlike that stupid little kickstand that it comes with. Now, now I'm gonna give you an idea about how I actually built this thing so you can build one yourself at home for cheap. The construction is actually really simple. The base is just two thick pieces of wood fastened together. And the top portion is a simple free paint stick from Home Depot. This here is an eyelet screw. They're also very cheap. You can get them at Home Depot. It was just screwed right into the top to help keep the switch from falling over. You don't need to make it circular like I did in the front. I just had the tools to do so, so I tried to go the extra mile. You can actually do this with some really cheap materials and just square pieces of wood and a saw and a drill. Right here where I created the channel in the center, you can see it doesn't go all the way through. If you had square pieces of wood, you can just do two small square pieces of wood on the bottom and that would allow a channel to go from the front all the way to the back. And having a channel going all the way through it would actually be more handy in case you did want the cord to come out of the backside. So like I said, the easiest way to do this would to be to get one square piece of wood on top, and two smaller square pieces of wood on the bottom. You can put one on this side and one on this side. That would keep the channel going right through the center and it would enable you to have the cord coming out of the front or out of the back if need be. What you would do is glue those two pieces together with wood glue and then using your drill and some drywall screws, screw those pieces together. You see those drywall screws there keeping the wood together? There's actually a couple more of them underneath the paint sticks that you can't see because I obviously put the paint sticks on top of those screws. Then I took some more drywall screws and I screwed in the pieces of paint stick to the top. Then all you need to do is get an eye screw, just like the one I have here. 
set the switch in between the two paint stick pieces that you've laid down to find the angle that the eye screw should sit at. Then take the switch back out, screw it in at that angle, and there you go. Doing it this way balances the weight of the switch. Some of the weight is leaning on the screw that I put in, and some of the weight is actually leaning on the kickstand. Therefore, it's a lot more sturdier and balanced than it would be if just sitting with the kickstand. Last thing you do is just put on the finishing touches. Just get some light sandpaper, maybe a 220 grit, sand down all the rough edges because you don't want to catch yourself or cut yourself or anything on any of the sharp edges. And then after that, just get some stain with polyurethane. Paint it on, let it sit and dry, and you've got yourself a pretty looking stand for a really, really low price. And there you have it folks, that is my very cool switch stand and somehow I still didn't manage to get the background screen working until this very shot. Wow, the production value here is pathetic. Anyhow, I hope you guys can make your own, show me what you guys have made, uh, post some videos of it, but don't go out and buy one because it's super easy to make. Cheers. Also, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave some comments, tell me what you think about my stand and uh, if you guys have made your own. But come back to gamers, I'm gonna keep making content for you as long as you're watching. Cheers.